let us discuss about capacitance, vibration sensor or accelerometer. This accelerometer will find the vibrations of a given engine or machine. So it will sense the vibrations that's why we can call it as sensor also. And here we are using the capacitance for finding the vibrations that's why we can call it as capacitance vibration sensor or accelerometer. Okay. Let us take the basic principle of this. Let us take the basic principle of this accelerometer. In it we are using two capacitors. Capacitor means these are the thin plates in which electrical energy is stored. Okay. So here these are the parallel plates. Whenever vibrations of machine is coming, so the the capacitors will also vibrate. The gap will also changing with the vibrations of the machine. So the change in gap will change the output capacitance at the terminals. Okay, the change in capacitance will find the vibrations of a machine. So this is the main basic principle of this accelerometer. At output we can see the capacitance, how much change in the capacitance in terms of voltage. Okay, we can connect the voltmeter also here for finding the change in capacitance. In description, there are three main parts of the accelerometer. So this is the housing or we can call it as frame. First part is for this housing, we are keeping one flexible reed. Flexible reed means it is a thin plate. Okay, it is like this thin plate we are fixing here. Okay. First part is reed connected to the housing and the free end is connected to mass. Second part is moving capacitor we are fixing at the mass. And third one is one fixed capacitor connected to the housing. Okay. These three are the main parts and these capacitors are connected with the uh, wires or terminals to the output for measuring the output. Okay. So these are the main parts in the description. Let us take the working operation of this accelerometer, how it is working. So this is a very small in size. So whatever machine vibrations we have to find, okay, let us take this as a machine. This accelerometer is very small in size, we have to fix on the surface of the machine. And this is the machine and this is the accelerometer whenever this machine is running it has vibrations it is moving like this up and down and this accelerometer will also move up and down and then this is our accelerometer in the enlarged form now we are keeping this on a machine surface as I shown here so this frame is moving up and down because of this movement this plate okay we are calling it is flexible reed it will also vibrate with the frame okay because one end of the reed is connected to the frame because of movement of the reed this mass will also move up and down with the reed this capacitor will also move with the mass the change in the distance between two capacitors will change the capacitance we can see the change in capacitance at the output in terms of voltage okay the change in the capacitance at the output will give the vibrations of a machine okay this output will measure the vibrations of a machine so this is the main working operation of this capacitance vibration sensor here what are the applications of this accelerometer means we can use in uh, two wheelers four wheelers and uh, some machine vibrations also we can measure easily and what are the advantages means it is very small in shape and size because of simple arrangement it has a very less weight we can use in circuit boards also where we can measure the output okay electrical output or voltage okay and the arrangement is also simple and the cost is also less and here it is giving very accurate value it is very sensitive okay and uh, here uh, what are the limitations means in limitations here we are measuring the output Okay. So, it is the electrical energy. Electrical energy is necessary for finding the vibrations. So, without electricity, we can't measure the vibrations. And the next limitation is with very high temperature, this read length is changing with temperature. So, at that time, it is getting the little uh, different value compared to the correct value. So, these two are the main limitations in this accelerometer. These are the main points in today's class.